And look, it's valid to ask now how much longer the public in Victoria can cop this stuff. Breaking point can't be far off. There's a new organisation formed out of the shambles, Reignite Democracy Australia. They have over 50,000 members, many of whom are under or around 30 years of age. Now, before now, they had very little interest in politics. Some haven't ever voted. But the attacks on freedoms and the arbitrary arrests, the totalitarian tendencies of Andrews and his mob have been a political awakening. Monica Smith is the managing director of Reignite Democracy Australia, and she rightly says, we can't take our freedoms and liberties for granted. We must fight to protect them. The good news is, as Monica puts it, this generation is getting more politically active than ever. So there is hope. Monica joins me from Reignite Democracy Australia. Monica, well done on the interest you've mobilised, but there's some dreadful stuff going on, isn't there? What is the story about Pastor Paul Furlong? Well, you know, when a pastor who runs a charitable organisation and goes overseas to Asia to save children from sex trafficking and poverty, if he is a criminal for trying to run a prayer service on a Sunday for the people that um, need him for that, uh, if he's a criminal, Alan, then this is a this is a worrying he, road he, that we're going he down. Refused, he refused, Monica, to close his church. So he's now, I believe, in custody without bail? That is correct. They actually uh, raided his home as well. They actually arrested him before the service, so the service did go on without him. But, yes, he's in custody without bail and he's not pleading guilty to incitement because he doesn't believe that's a crime, that he's committed a crime. A pastor, a small business owner, even runs charity organisations. If he's a criminal, we're going down a very dangerous road. Now, you say a father of four... Nick Patterson, who'd agreed to a move on order, and was on his way back to his car, was brutally arrested and still in custody. Viewers, have a look at this. Robbie, come here. Just let's go. Monica, what the hell yeah. is going on there? Look, it's really crazy to see. It brings back a lot of memories from, from last year as well. You know, the police are obviously supposed to uphold the right and protect us. And when the government is letting us down and the police are letting us down, it's a really difficult time for Victorians. And that's why, as you said, people are getting involved because this is why we're in this position. And we want the relationship between the police and the people to be good. And before lockdown, they were telling people, oh, we're your friends, we're trying to mend the relationship, and then lockdown orders come into place, and this is what we're seeing. It's well, really worrying you've, for us. You've got this fellow who attended an outdoor church service, Anthony Lev, who was on his way home, tackled to the ground four days ago on Sunday, May 30. Just have a look at this. Acting in dictation. Yeah, thank you for spoiling a beautiful moment. Oh, Monica, what's happening there? I mean, what about you, you? You were arrested too, weren't you, and unlawfully detained in October? Here is Monica. Just have a look at this. What's the offence? You have a right to tell. I, you need it's to tell me what the offence is. Why am I being arrested? Yeah. Yeah. I would like to know. Yeah, we'll take it off. Why am I being arrested? You can't arrest me for not wearing a mask. I've given you all my details. I have a letter from my doctor and I have a work permit. Why are you arresting me? You've given me directions to move on based on the fact, based on the fact that I don't have a work permit. I have a work permit. You're not following the rules. You're not following the rules. What are you doing? 
Monica, is this Australia or North Korea? Look, sometimes it's a bit hard to tell, Alan, but look, I will say that I'm sure a lot of police don't like seeing this footage either, but the problem that I saw in the last couple of days is that some of the police are really enjoying this, and this is a worry. How much longer can Melbourne cope with this and the impact on mental health? Health officials are now using phrases like fleeting contact to justify the lockdown. Do the Victorian people trust politicians and officials? I would say that they're losing faith very, very quickly, and that is why the next federal, the next state election in Victoria, Alan, is going to look a lot different. Yeah. I, I'm the, the uh, a good example of that. I didn't know anything about politics uh, before 2020, and neither did a lot of other people. Uh, we started a political party, rdaparty.com.au, and we are coming for their seats. Let me tell you that, Alan. We will we will do everything it takes because this is not living, and we don't accept it at all. Good on you. Well, it's great to talk to you and we'll keep talking to you. I mean, Monica is urging people to stay strong as I am, stay safe and stick together. Good stuff, Monica. Thank you. It's dreadful, dreadful. Monica Smith, Managing Director of Reignite Democracy Australia. That is Victoria Today. That website is reignitedemocracyaustralia.com.au.